This is the Redmi Pro. First phone from Xiaomi with two camera setup. We already saw the Huawei P9, LG G5 and the newly iPhone 7 did the same things. So let's see what the Redmi Pro can do. First, let's talk about the specs. The main shooter is a 13 megapixel Sony sensor with an aperture of 2.0, and the secondary is a 5 megapixel Samsung sensor to help blurring the background. Also, you will get a dual tone plus and a face detection autofocus. They sound good on paper. Let's see how they can do in the real world scenario. So, let's jump start with the daylight photo shoot. As you can see, the color looks great with fine amount of detail and it's not oversaturated. You can sit back and enjoy the photo and you can judge by yourself. The HDR performance is good in this picture. It's brightened up the shadow and make the color look more saturated. Okay, now let me show you some photo that I took using the secondary camera and create the blur effect and they call it the stereo mode. In this mode, it's basically they give you the software aperture that you can adjust in the viewfinder or you can adjust later in the gallery app by tap to focus okay now let's move to low light photography as you can see the picture still look good and it's easy to focus the sun speed is fast but i don't like it when the flash turn on as you can see they change the color too much in this picture for the video, this camera only shoots at 1080p at 30 frames per second. There's no 4K in here. And it also doesn't have the OIS, so the full rate will be a little bit shaky. For slow motion video, this camera captures at 720p at 120 frames per second and the video is very smooth in here okay to wrap this up this is a good camera phone it's a lot better than the redmi note 3 and the redmi note 4 sure it won't beat the iphone 7 or the galaxy s7 but for the price you will be happy from what you get thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to see more of this video and please give me a thumbs up if you like it.